So this is our program's definition of what perpetration of abuse is. And in fact, I just saw this, um, uh, I think, I forget what state it was, but one of the um, state standards for battery and intervention just uh, adopted this definition also, is that it is instrumental, strategic, and purposeful behavior designed to bring about an outcome. There isn't anything up there in that definition about intoxication, about being angry, about having a bad day, about getting on my last nerve, about pushing all my buttons. This is just specific about strategy. And when you heard Barbara talk about the power and control wheel and the tactics, another way to think about tactics are strategies. They're strategies to get her to do something or strategies to get her to stop doing something. And something I'd like to add to this, when I was learning, first learning about assailants, the thing that stuck with me all the, way through, all the way through my career is the fact that he was talking about how he, you know, David is convinced that assailants can change. They have absolutely have the capacity to change. And it's because it is a learned behavior. Um, because it's a learned behavior means that it's not something that's caused by substance abuse or mental illness or any of these other, there's stress or something like that. Because I remember when I first got into this work, I thought, oh, they're just stressed out or they're this or they're that. And um, I'm realizing, no, this is behavior that they learned along the way. And Dave would be, Dave would be a better expert on, because when people are say, is it more the home or society? And I have my theories, but he's the expert. And um, because it's a learned behavior, this is what happens and why it can be unlearned. 